to examine places so here we're on Bing Maps now the advantage of Bing Maps Microsoft Bing Maps over Google is that you can get ordnance survey maps so on the uh, little key here select style you've got street side bird's eye ordnance survey and satellite um, so we could use this um, the ordnance survey map okay if we click on click on that um, you can use these maps to examine place so here we could look at numerous physical and human features that help to create Keswick as a place so looking at that we can see we've got various different rivers uh, running along the the town okay um, so those contribute to flood risk and things like that um, we can see the contour lines are very close together so the area is of steep relief there's forests and things which will help to create the uh, the more natural character of, of Keswick and so on so um, you could use Bing Maps uh, in conjunction with satellite images to um, really examine and explore places and you get a good idea for the, the various different land uses and retail uses and so on uh, within that within that area. Uh, the National Library for Scotland have these side-by-side -side maps so we've got a, a map here uh, from 1885 um, and then we've got uh, Esri satellite image on, on the other side so I'll just get rid of the keys okay again you could particularly when we're looking at changing places and change over time zoom in on on various areas um, I teach in Newcastle upon time so you could zoom in on various areas of of, of interest um, and look at how they have um, changed so we can see here you've got the Lawson main so that would be a, a pit we've got um, high pit um, in Walker on the on the old map okay and then we can see that those have been converted to housing and so on on the on the satellite image so um, you could use those um, we see various fields and so on um, whereas here we've got um, a railway depot and industrial areas um, so you could use those side by side maps to look at historical change and what that has done um, over time the census um, of 2021 has the Coropleth maps or so some geolocated data and you basically just check, pick from the um, pick from the criteria down here the topics okay so we could go with uh, we'll go with ethnic group and that produces a color coded map um, and you can choose which different ethnic group from the census um, appeared so I'll just I'll zoom back in on Newcastle upon time where I teach We get a very good uh, and quick Coropleth map um, showing which different districts um, have which different ethnicities with within them. Okay, so that's that's another good one. Uh, we could go for um, other other types of map as well. So it's a crime map. Okay, so this is NiceAreas.co.uk, and it's got some geolocated data uh, and it tells you what the offence was and so on. So. Um, you know you can click on any of those and it will tell you what those what those were okay and then the another one that you could look at is sort of house prices yep, so this is an area of Middlesbrough on Zoopla um, and again that gives you an idea for the for the average house prices with some geolocated data um, in that area of Middlesbrough so lots of different mapping sources showing different things that will give us an idea and a sense of place for some of those areas